Welcome to Cavs World Travels. If you could hit that subscribe button and help support the channel, that'd be very much appreciated. Give the video a like and hit that bell button for notifications. I hope you enjoy the video. So we're here in Jumeirah, the largest preserved Roman city in North Africa. It's submerged into the holy water, so that ritual held inside of that building. It was a restored. Outside, there are two other secondary entries. An altar is almost in the middle, and behind the altar there is a crypt, that hidden room which was designed to keep the tombs of the dead saints. Uh, the, the church, it was here in the private uh, large uh, uh, house of the bishop himself with an, a chapel inside of it. Yeah. Which is consisted of different rooms, also uh, gymnasium and solarium. So this theatre has yeah. never been restored? Yeah, it's original. It's original. Yeah, with a capacity of 3,000 seaters. Also, it has or it contains that system of acoustic which allows everybody to hear at the same level. And the peers are divided into three social categories. Uh, one was for the noble class uh, below, in the middle for the middle class and up here for the plebeians, uh, the inferior uh, class. During the summer and the winter it was covered by a certain system called the vellum. Vellum is the uh, uh, involves uh, involves to use poly, uh, polys, ropes and the canvas to cover it and uncover it. Protect them against the audience who was below and to give them dominance over the, uh, the audience. On the other side it was the office of the clerk and also it was used to keep the archives of the tribe. Yeah. Let's go this way of this building through that, uh, those both words, Albinus Consularis, or the Council of Judges, the Tribunal, and here is the Provincia Numidia, the, 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 the eastern province of Numidia. Right here, we are in the extreme west of Numidia, so the second western province of Mauritania just begins behind that greyish hill. No, 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 I'm talking theater. Or non-public factors, yeah. I show you uh, convenient corners to, to fix the fountain. And in the middle of the street was designed for the traffic of chariots, horses, but it had the bow sights. And also... Here was a brothel. Yeah, here, yeah. the brothel. Yeah. This yeah. is the sign. The sign. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you just noticed yeah. that. Oh, look at that. This is the sign for the brothel. Yeah. Oh. And here was the office of the pimp, that uh, gentleman who manages services inside. <laughs> this is for the pimp here. Uh, and inside there are many of uh, rooms for the woman yeah. Yeah, to receive or to welcome. So this is dedicated to Venus. Yeah, Venus Genetrix. Yeah. She has another uh, nickname, Genetrix, because it was the... Buildings or public buildings, yeah. Uh, another court was here, and the local senate building was there on the other side. And on the front was the Capitolium dedicated to Zeus. Yeah, it's uh, it must be uh, the the most dominant building around the whole city. Yeah, brothers who were governors. Uh, and the name of the city is Quikul. Quikul. Yeah, Quikul. C U I C U L. Quikul. Okay. And that was the original name of the city. Yeah. Quikul. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, sacrifice for a deity or to a, uh, a pagan deity. So we have different animals here. We have the bull. Which one? There are three different volumes here to weigh cereals. And this is a cube, a half of one meter to measure length. This market also was a donation given by one noble citizen of this city 
who was named Lucius. L stands for Lucius. This is a coma here. And he was nicknamed Primus. His nickname was Primus. And his family name was Cusinius. Be asked Cool. So there are pebbles in there. Yeah, pebbles here. Yeah. Now full of pebbles. And then the pillar, yeah. and then that would stop. Uh, yeah. Well, it would stop an impact of an earthquake. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. Observe. Just yeah. observe. Yeah. So this is uh, the museum. Now it's a local museum. It's just of this city. Yeah, nothing was imported from as well. And it's classified as number one for mosaics around Algeria because it uh, contains 1,200 square meters of mosaics. Uh, 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 the life of Bacchus, the life cycle. Of and is the pagan yeah, mosaic? Yeah. It, it was brought from another private villa and it represents the four episodes of the life of Bacchus. So below we have the babyhood of Bax. Bax when he was a baby and he's sucking milk from a nurse. The nurse was a goddess of water. On the left is the other bringing of Bacchus. So Bacchus grown up, he became a child and he's riding on a tiger's back to train to become a warrior. Helped by Saturn in the front of him. Saturn was a feudal semi-god. And behind him, another nymph, she's holding his waist, uh, the waist of Bacchus, to not fall down, to not collapse. Above is libation for Bacchus, the god this time, so giving offerings for him as a god. And on the right is the feasts of Bacchus, or the Bacchanalia, the orgies, where everything was allowed. You can see even uh, a woman uh, who holds a phallus and tries to deflower a virgin. Yeah. So we have the both uh, types of mosaics here. We have the pagan mosaics and other Christian mosaics. For the pagan mosaics, they mainly represent mythology. And the other one, which are Christians, uh, they represent different symbols or Christian symbols. Uh, for the pagan mosaics, we have that one. Yeah. It was brought from uh, a private villa and it represents uh, hunting. We can see the city of Quicur is just behind the arcade and many of Roman fellow citizens are hunting different wild animals with different techniques for hunting too. For example, on the, on the left, uh, the rabbit were, which was hunted by means of a net on the shoulder of the human being. But the deer and the boar were hunted by means of a spear. Below we have gladiator show. So the fighting or the combat between the human being and the animals, such as the Berber lion or the Berber panther. Yeah brought from another private pagan villa and it represents the toilet of Venus, the process of grooming and dressing Venus who is taking a seat into the shell. Meanwhile she's looking for her face reflected on the mirror. The shell itself is held by two tritons, mythological marine monsters on the both sides and in the four corners there are four mermaids, always goddesses of water. The lines always symbolize the surface of the Mediterranean Sea, but the emptiness in the middle represents a sewer to drain the water of that room. Yeah. This is the largest intact mosaic in Algeria. This one was I invited inside to focus with that expression there in the line. Saturn, it's an Median or native gods, and after it's a Roman, it's the father of the of Jupiter region. And this is the this double or this couple was died in the third century AD. We have this signal DMB or DMS, which means Dios Manubos Gunos, Dios Manubos Sacro. 
for the good gods man the name it's man man help protect the houses it's man like a genius like a and the south and the second one it's the Ducumanos between the east and the west this is the in the map we have the first one and the second one the cross of the two axes or the two roads we have the forum the center with two floors it's with apartments it's for rent and after we have this it's shops this is the life it's the roman life oh yes it's a library yeah. and they will have three doors and this is the inscription for the third century We have ex Liberitates Marcos Julio Cantani Flavie Rugatiani. It's a gift from Marcos, who is a member or governor of Tingad, for the Republicae Coloniae Temugadi. This is the old name of Tingad, the mother of happiness. And after we have forbidding this Bibliotecae with 400,000 Numum or sisters the Roman currency it cost 400,000 sisters mm. for 8 armaria it's a cupboard then we got this the forum the center but before visiting the or we must visit in the toilets. The toilets for the good gather. And this, it's for, for the water, it's fountain. And after some irrigation for the water. And they use this for cleaning himself. They use this, we call it tarsorium in a Latin word. It's like this for cleaning himself. Oh, okay. And after we must put it in, in the center of this toilets yes put it uh, for another yeah. using because we have salt and the water and it's like this it's like thrown it's thrown room and it's like this just yeah it's for an exit the victory temple the municipal council and this is the court between this, we have the judge between the two cards. We have some statues for the emperors of the second century. Camel by here, yeah. head, hump, So the aim of this game is not to go past that line when you throw, and you need to get the stones in these holes. No one. <laughs> this is the sits. Intellectual sits. The public sits. 4,000. And in the center, we have like microphone or the echo. Here all around. Yes. Same level. And this is the stemna or the stage and the orchestra. And this is this time they organized uh, like party for the theater of honorary bankers the god of the wide and what what type of events did they have here for days. uh no what type of events so was it um, like concerts Some was it concerts, gladiators theater, a tragedy oh. and this is the first map Houses. 
So the sleeves are in this one by here? Yes. So the sleeves are in by here. And then the horses by here. Atrium. And it's collected the rainwater? Yes. And it was decorated by the flowers. And after the third century, 15,084 hectares. This is for honoring and uh, we call uh, the Jupiter family. We have this decoration, we have the altar, the upstairs, six columns, and three chambers in the center. We have the statues of Jupiter, and the second, his wife, Yunonni or Jinan, and the third one, it's for Minerv, the water mill, the abret of the Cisisirgo, water mill, the abricot, the wine, the half bags, and some medicinal plants. The signal of Jim God. It was built in 212 by Siftim Siever, which is the Emperor of Rome in the 2nd century. It's like a gift for the builder Trajan. For this reason, they called this Trajan Arch. So this is where they come on the chariots. Uh -huh. Cool. Ancient tracks. She, she put some, uh, some lamps in the doors for telling the people my job is in the night. Okay, so you knew it was a brothel? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so that's a symbol. This is the pagan symbol. The Alpha and the Omega. Yeah. So Alpha by there, Omega by there, and then Jesus Christ, his little cross. Cool. Yes. Enough is for you. So the foot's going our way. Yes. Enter. And foot's the other way. Exit, exit yes. for the baths. So she sees a reflection on the bottom and then she covers herself up. <laughs>